Hey guys, how's it going? I am just about to head down to Geneva for the motor show. About two weeks ago, I was speaking to Steph, ABTV, and we both discussed, wouldn't it be great to do a road trip down to Geneva? So originally, we are gonna take one of our own cars, either the M2 or his A45, but then I contacted BMW UK, spoke to Lauren, and she said, unfortunately, they only had one car available. That car is a brand new 8 Series, which is about the best car you could ever do a road trip down to Geneva in. And this one, even better than the M850i in my opinion for this sort of trip, is the 840D. So shouldn't cost us too much in fuel for the long 750 mile journey we've got to go down there. I'm just about to head over to Steph, I'm running late, it's 2.30pm UK time. I reckon the total journey time to our hotel just outside of Geneva and up in the mountains is gonna be about 12 hours. So it's a long, long drive. Should be pretty epic though. Big shout out to my buddy Jack from Auto ID who is helping fund this trip. He's actually paying for our return Euro tunnel down to Geneva. Jack runs Auto ID and Auto ID are a premium aftermarket specialist for BMWs. So they produce a number of really cool accessories so check out their Instagram and check out his website. Massive thanks to Jack. I wouldn't be shouting out or supporting or accepting people to support us unless I believed in their products and I believe in Jack's stuff. So thanks Jack, really appreciate it. Right, let's jump in the car because this weather is absolutely terrible and I'm already about half an hour late for Steph. Bye bye M2. Let's have a quick look in the boot. Massive boot, look at that. Apologies for the rain drops on the lens. Um, yeah, I almost forgot that Steph needs to get in here. Also, a big shout out to Station 119 Beers. We have got a beer sponsor for this trip. So massive thanks to these guys. Description in the link below. Fast forward about 45 minutes and we've got Steph, ABTV in the house. Hello guys. Oh, it's, I, can't get, I can't get used to this flipping thing, Joe. Wait, you're meant to be, you said you'd do the first drive, well, yeah, the first we, stint. Well, yeah, we were trying to decide who was gonna drive the first stint, but what? I'm not doing anything. Look, like the car, the feet are out here. What? It's but but there's a car in front, Steph. Yeah, I know, it's doing the whole braking for me, turning for me, keeping me in lane for me. No way. Yeah. That is, that's pretty handy. That's like the best function to have on the M25, isn't it? I think it genuinely is, but also for the trip we're doing now, we're doing what, 10 hours worth of driving, where probably about 85% of all of the drive is gonna be like this. Perfect, amazing. Yeah, so, no, I'm good, how are you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sorry, yeah, that's all right. No, yeah, good, mate, very good. Yeah, um, yeah good to see you've been super busy lately, uh, uh, pumping out the videos. Yeah, you know what it's like, busy, busy. In fact, at this point, I can probably say because my car is gone. Yes. I sold the A45. Yep become an adult temporarily anyway. temporarily yeah <laughs> but, um, yeah no I've been good yeah busy as always working hard trying to juggle the YouTube lifestyle with the day job as Joe's very familiar with as well yeah uh, but no at the same time enjoying it yeah I've been releasing good videos and, and having fun doing it and trips like this all makes YouTube fun yes Definitely does. yeah I mean I, I explained uh, in my intro earlier on that, um, that this was kind of like not a pipe dream but about two weeks ago we had a a loose conversation yeah. about Geneva because yeah, yeah. neither of us have been there. No, first time we're doing it. And we're like, should we do it? Yes. Right, should we try and get hold of a car? Yes. And then things have started coming together. Um, we got ah, Station 119 beer sponsor. Yeah, yeah. When we were out in this car in Spain, I never got the chance to do this part. No. Because we were actually enjoying because the press drive was so much fun. Yeah, um, and the roads were amazing. I, you know, you really wanted to drive it, but yeah, this kind of function is exactly what you need for this kind of this. crap traffic on yeah. the M25. You can just relax, and you know what? I, I was just saying to Steph that actually, in fact, we might experience it in a second. But when the traffic comes to a complete stationary stop, yeah. the car oh, here also here look. Here we go. Look. And as you can see, there's no pedals, there's nothing going on there. Nothing. We're almost going to come to a stop, but it comes to a stop, and then when it starts rolling, the car starts rolling. And I'll tell you what, for the M25, that is awesome. Yeah. Anyway, next stop, I think, should be the Euro Tunnel. Euro -tunnel. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, focused on. Focused on. Cheers. Focused on. Okay, guys, we are just arriving at 
the Euro Tunnel. The Tunnel of the Euro. So we're just putting up here now. We're going to run in, get a coffee and a snack, That's and then hopefully right. jump on the train. Uh, this one's fine, mate. Yeah. yeah. The one with me crossing it. One, oh no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got that camera content. Yeah, content. Yeah. yeah. You took the wrong content. direction to Geneva, clickbait. <laughs> clickbait. Oh no, hang on. You, thank God I've got you. God, she could do with a bit of a shave. What are you on about? Oh. Oh. Oh, Steph, it's you. How's it going, mate? You yeah, alright? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. This is a really family friendly video, as it, you can see. It is. Snacks, mate. Yes, this is the. Yeah, as I see, This uh, is the Geneva survival kit. <laughs> five, five a day. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Right, we're, we're all caffeined up. All of my, um, many of my road trips, obviously European road trips, start from here and I always grab a coffee. Um, bit of a uh, word of advice. I normally get snacks and stuff before I leave from the supermarket because the WH Smith here is not cheap. Is no, it's not. We've done 30 quid in snacks. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, buy your snacks beforehand, but get your coffee here. Yes. Uh, we're just heading out into the Wild wilderness. Oh, there's a woman sitting on top of our car. <laughs> <laughs> Where did she come from? I have no idea. Is she going to come with us? Well, I don't know. Well, she won't. She won't fit in the rear seats, though. That's for sure. Oh, she really, <laughs> literally. Flipping out. She does look like she's sitting there. She does. She's caressing our car. Right then, guys. Here we go. We are about to board the Euro Tunnel. Uh, Mr. Steph. Yeah, I actually have wheel. to drive now, so Whoa. I've got control. Are you alright with that, mate? I know, it's hard work, mate. Jeez. <laughs> Whoa, what next, mate? The adventure begins, mate, throughout the night. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting. I always love getting to this point. We're basically now, well, in 40 minutes time, going to be in mainland Europe, heading through France. Um, it feels like the adventure has properly begun now. Mm. And, uh, but little do we know it, we've got about, what, 10 hours of driving ahead <laughs> yeah. of us. <laughs> Yeah, I think we underestimated the actual travel distance. Yeah, yeah, we get if we can measure our smiles that are really big at the moment, see what we're like a bit later. Yeah. Um, but it's it's going to be very dark for the rest of the video, so we've, we've got a few little lighting devices that I'm sure will help, and we both run G7Xs, which uh, are very good at enhancing yeah, our light. So, um, absolutely. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you for those of you that haven't been on the Euro Tunnel before. Right then, guys, we're on the train. I've just put the final destination into the cars nav and it's 585 miles away our eta is 3:43 in the morning we're hoping that that is uh time wrong. adjusted yeah we're hoping it's wrong but we're hoping it's, we're, we're hoping it's wrong in the right way um because obviously the clocks it's although it's six o'clock in the car in the next 10 minutes when we land in calais that's going to change to seven o'clock which i'm thinking Will mean that that's going to be 4:43. 4:43. What a stupid idea. Anyway, wine gums. Are good. Wine gums. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah. Steph's come good here in the wine gums. Mine says um, nine hours and 34 minutes. Oh. Which is one. I think that's time correct. Okay. Cool. Maybe wow. Time. That's. That gives you. Whoa. That's far. Whoa. Because before it was like Geneva was seven and a half, eight hours, yeah. but it's another hour and a bit. But it from is, there. and that's the thing, it's this bit here. Yeah. So you've got Geneva oh, here. Oh, look at that road. But we're going up, there, so we're doing the mountain yeah. part there. It's very Fantastic. <laughs> Apologies about the really bright light. I've got my interior LED lamp in the car. Obviously, it's pitch black outside. <laughs> it's like it's like there's a car driving directly towards <laughs> us. No, yeah, stop, stop it! it. <laughs> um, it is currently almost half past nine French time, so that's half past eight UK time, which means I've been on the road about six hours. Steph's been on the road about five and a half. Yeah. Uh, we've currently, I've done 452 kilometers. Uh, we've got 630 odd kilometers left to go. Our ETA is roughly 3 a.m. French time. Local time, yeah. Um, what else can I tell you? We have averaged uh, MPG since I left home. We've averaged 37 and a half. Uh, and it's been, we've had quite a severe headwind since we've been in France and obviously the French uh, speed, uh, speed limit is a bit higher than the UK, it's about 85, 
niche. Um, so yeah, uh, it's doing so well. I mean, I have to say, uh, we knew this car was going to be a good long distance cruiser, but yeah. wow, it's just, mm. it's so effortless. Um, as you can probably tell, there's very little wind noise at 130k ish. Uh, are we coming up to a toll now? We are. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh well, we can yeah, we can spin sure. around and we'll show spin you the toll. And show you the toll. Here we go. That's a French driver just uh, swerving into our lane. They're very nice. Now let's see. Is our toll thing going to work this time? Right. Yeah. Last time, uh, there was a, it, almost a complete fail. Oh. Uh, right now. Is it going to do it? Is it going to do it? I think it will. Oh, 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 oh. No! Oh. <laughs> no. No, again. No. It's happened again. It's happened on my video. But, oh, oh there we go, there we go. It must be the glass. Maybe there's something in the glass, uh, some kind of laminate that maybe. stops it from doing it. Maybe. Or uh, maybe we're in a bulletproof vehicle. <laughs> maybe this is the bulletproof edition. Oh. Hey, someone's reading it. Someone's breathing us! We're getting a rear. See you, see you later, bye, bye, bye. See you later. <laughs> right, let's just show everyone laser lights. Oh, yes. In full operation. So there yeah. you go, guys. I mean, look at that. That is just incredible, isn't just it? Just watch the... Uh, look at that. That white oh, balance yes. is really on point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look pale at all. You look like I? a ghost, mate. To be fair, we both do. I am a ghost. Yeah. Like, I might as well be a ghost in this car. I'll just put adaptive headlights on. Adaptive steering on, adaptive cruise control on. No hands on. No hands. Look, mum, no hands. Look. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are. We found. Steph's found a McDonald's. <coughs> uh, it's about ten minutes away. We're going to eat, uh, and then we're going to hit the road. Yeah. Jack, don't you come back no more. It's telling me to hold the wheel. Go. It's getting a bit upset. Guys, we just pulled over. Um, there was a McDonald's, but we decided to go to Burger King instead, because why not? It's all the same old junk. This thing has been truly amazing. Really has. What a car. And laser lights through the night. Brilliant. Steph, uh, what are you doing, mate? Getting for the ground. food shots it's here. for the ground. I mean, I know we've gone for like, you know, upmarket food, but so don't, don't get too excited. One of the things about being a YouTuber slash Instagram, you have to tell everyone everything. Yes. Yeah, I've got to show those, uh, oh, those that mate. lovely pair of it's chips. <laughs> do you know what you do need though? No. You need a, oh, a pixel. Team, a team pixel. A team pixel. Team Portrait picture. Okay. Yeah, depth of field. Watch this. Watch this, people. Watch this. Okay. So I've just taken it. Let's go and have a look. Oh. There we go. Look, look mate, at that's that. Nuts. That's insane, isn't it? That's actually really good really good so we are putting in the first tank on the way down here and it's shaping up to be quite an expensive one it's, slow, isn't it? it's so slow and so loud as you can tell you've said what 107, 107. i've said 110 oh. either way it's fucking expensive two years later <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. you to win this well, this is a 68 litre tank. Let's see how empty we were. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Mate, that's amazing. Because by the time we've done a few of these little jiggly ones. So you can see we've been on the road for a while because we're laughing at really stupid things. 107. 107. We'll just make it 108 so he's not. <laughs> Good. Right, I'll see you back here. I'm gonna get my card back because out here at night they take your card and uh, you gotta come back when you're finished filling up. Right then guys, fast forward about two and a half, three hours. About three hours, yeah. Um, we have currently, since I left home this morning, 865 kilometers. We have averaged, I think about 36 miles to the gallon, let's just see. 36 yeah. average. Um, we've been going along at a reasonable pace. Um, 217 kilometers to go, and you can actually see here, we're not very far at all on the map, but obviously that's the scale. We haven't just got one inch to go. <laughs> um, but yeah, not far now. Um, you can see we kind of go through Geneva and then up into the mountains. 
Um, so we are, our, our ETA is quarter past three in the morning. Steph has been behind the wheel for the past two and a half ish hours, and um, yeah, it's been, it's just, it literally has been effortless, hasn't it? Quite literally. <laughs> quite, li <laughs> quite literally. No, it's been amazing, honestly. I mean, we were saying that with these kind of journeys, sometimes you, you know, get quite, what's the word, you know, like claustrophobic, you want to move around, you, you know, you're not you get, comfortable. You get a numb bum, yeah, you numb get everything. Bum. And then once you get to that point, you then just cannot, you yeah. can't get back to feeling back comfortable. Back into the flow, yeah. yeah. No, like you, in this, we've, oh. we've done hours in this. Obviously, we stopped for a cheeky meal. Yeah. Uh, but oh, since then, we just kept powering through. Well, it's five past one, so what does that mean? Oh, well, I left mine at half past two, so that's 11 hours minus one. So we're coming up to 10 hours. 10 hours, 10 10 hours in the car. And we're still completely fine. It's just like absolutely perfectly fine. Like we've only got another two hours left, which to me is just not, not, a, not a hassle at all. Yeah, I think um, once you tick over that big kind of six hour mark and you're down into the three hours. It's all, yeah, yeah. You're almost there. Yeah, when you can see the light at the end <laughs> of the tunnel, um, or the light the on my face. face. <laughs> yeah, look at us, we're like a couple of ghosts. Um, but yeah, really, honestly, impressive. And the tech in here, the um, autonomous drive, the active, everything's been working faultlessly out here. Uh, much thanks to the brilliant French roads with the really great markings and stuff. And the traffic, we joined this motorway, which is the A39, A39, sort of heading down towards, I think, Lyon, and then we head off towards Geneva. We joined it, and for the first 10 minutes, we didn't yeah. we didn't see another car. Nothing um, like nothing, either way. Nothing. It's just amazing. The boat. That's like my boat, isn't it? It's a serious boat. As you can see, the sun still hasn't set. Oh, well, no, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> We're still going strong. We are still going strong. Still going strong, yeah. Um, I've been going probably close to an hour now behind yeah. the wheel. Yeah. Um, and in fact, Steph, if you wouldn't mind just showing the camera over here at the display. Let's uh, switch off the, the sunlight. Yep. There we go. Catch that. It's just clocked over a thousand kilometers. There you go. Average speed of 119 k's an hour. And let's see what the average MBG is. 36 we're on at the moment. 36. Yep. Um, we're just pulling into a toll. We are indeed, and we are 82 kilometers away. 82 kilometers away, and we're really close to Geneva. We I are. think we're only like 10 k's away from Geneva, but we're skirting around Geneva. Um, where's our toll tag? Okay, so let's go through. One of these. Uh, far, far right, isn't it? Far, far left. These are all closed, though. No, no, no. That one, that one over there, you know. Oh, look at you. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't know. We're like about to weights. find out. Well, this looks really narrow. This one's a tight like a tiger. Oi! <laughs> We finally got that one <laughs> to work. Oh man, we've been trying to do. Well, that's bright flip, but uh, <laughs> so, woo! We've been trying to do that for what the last five tolls. Or yeah, we finally got there in a thousand. It's only taken us a thousand <laughs> kilometers. Oh um, man, but at yeah. least it finally worked. It's finally worked. So we've. Uh, it's it's honestly been effortless. This journey has just been amazing. I mean, obviously, I've been sharing the driving. Steph did a massive three and a half hours stint mm. just before this. But even you were like, have I really just done three and a half hours? Yeah. Um, the car's just unbelievable. The It's a combination of everything, the ride, the seats, the economy, the lack of, it just lack of fuss. Yeah. And the laser lights have made a huge oh, no. difference. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> um, so yeah, really, really, really good journey. Uh, we've got exactly an hour to go. ETA is about quarter past three in the morning. So yeah. it's just gone quarter past two. And uh, yeah, it's been great. It's been a really, really cool adventure. We've been listening to chilled out music. And uh, yeah, we're just looking forward to the last bit. So yeah. I think the next bit that you'll see 
is us hopefully arriving at the hotel in an hour's time. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this hotel as well. Yes, I know. I can't wait. I know. <laughs> We've only driven 12 hours <laughs> to see it. I know. We should be just thinking about, oh yes, bed, asleep. But yeah. we're like, no, no, no. 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 Check I, out I, the I hotel. actually quite fancy a beer when we get there. I know. Maybe we should definitely have a beer yeah, when we I get there. Yeah, I think we will. We will definitely yeah, have yeah, a beer. For sure. Right. On BMW. Yeah. Cheers, guys. We've made it guys, um, almost 1100 kilometers, I think 1087 kilometers, um, average about 37 miles to the gallon yeah. in the end. Uh, we averaged, our average speed from the time I left home is about 119 kilometers an hour. Um, we didn't hit one traffic light no. in 1100 kilometers. I know, it's ridiculous. We almost did just yeah, here almost. and then it went green as we got there. But anyway, this is the amazing hotel well, yeah. we're staying in. Um, I will show you some shots of this in the morning because there's probably a bit more light, but we're going to run in, check in, have a beer and go to bed because it is approaching half past three in the morning. But what a trip, what a car. I mean, I, wow. Right then guys, you join me in a very sunny Chamonix. Mr. Steph. Wow. What a trip, eh? Wow, incredible. What a 24 hours. We just worked out it's basically exactly 24 hours since we left London yesterday. Um, we got up this morning, had a pretty chilled morning, had a lovely breakfast. We jumped in the 8 Series and we headed over to Chamonix, where we are now. It's looking gorgeous, mate. It's just, it's beautiful, but when we when we arrived here about an hour, an hour and a half here ago, it was it was terrible. Yeah, you literally couldn't see a thing, and now it's, it's just, just bright beautiful. enough. It's like completely two different days in yeah. the space of about an hour and a half. It's it's lovely, it really is. I just sent the drone up, so I'm gonna chuck a couple of those shots in. We're gonna head back now to the hotel. I think we deserve a few more beers. I agree. I um, agree. Yes. <laughs> before, yeah, relatively early night, hopefully, and day one of Geneva. Both of our it's our virgin day tomorrow. Yeah, never been before. Not sure what to expect, but it's going to be good. I think we'll enjoy ourselves regardless. Yeah, it's yeah. Be cool seeing some new cars being launched as well. So make sure to check out Steph's channel if you don't already. It's subscribe, etc. But check out his vlog, which is going to be pretty similar to mm -hmm. mine, but still uh, very different. And uh, and obviously all his, all his content as well. He's smashing out some awesome videos. Thank so you. yeah, make sure to check that out on his Instagram. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at the next video. Cheers, guys. So I figured there was one last thing to drink some of our sponsored beer. Yeah. How, uh, how is it, Steph? Oh, that's really nice. Really good? It is no genuine, it's really nice. Mm. Okay, well, I guess it's my turn. Cheers, Enjoy. mate. Mm.